New information about a deadly drug overdose in Grafton. Police say there's a link between the bar where the drugs were sold and a state lawmaker. Jason Calvi spoke with family members who are demanding answers. Grafton police suspect cocaine laced with fentanyl killed 28-year-old Nicholas Hamilton and sent three others to the hospital. Three weeks later, his family is ready to talk. I was genuinely surprised um, just because I knew my brother never had any problems with drugs. Grafton police tell us the drugs were sold here, the railroad station in Sockville. Do you know if the owner, Mr. Brooks, is in by chance? State Representative Rob Brooks owns the bar. No one answered at his home. Hamilton's family says they want answers. Mr. Brooks is saying his condolences over the news rather than when we're trying to contact him, he's not responding to us. I think that's really disrespectful. Police reports show in 2018 an undercover informant said a patron here regularly sold drugs. The Associated Press reports Brooks bought the bar in 2007 and learned about drug issues after the sale. But he says he thought that was handled. He also told the AP, we'll do everything within our power to ensure nothing like this happens again. We're not running a bad establishment. From the information that we got, it, it was that person is a regular patron at the bar. Grafton police think they know who sold those drugs inside of this Sockville bar, but they say they cannot arrest that person just yet. They're waiting for the toxicology reports to come back to confirm that Nicholas died of those drugs. We're kind of at the mercy of the crime lab now. As more cases slow down the labs, the Hamilton family could be waiting several months for an arrest. He was a good dad. He really cared about his children and he was only 28 years old. He was so young and he had a lot more life to live yet. In Sockville, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News.